Hello and welcome to physics problems one by one. So here is a problem. As always, read it maybe once, maybe twice, and then pause the video and try to solve it yourself. This is part three of the same, part three of the same problem about the bicycle that moves with a constant speed V0 and the car that starts simultaneously they crossing the point A and the car is moving with constant acceleration and at a certain point they meet, the car catches to the bicycle and the speed of the bicycle is V0 and they are asking us about what would be mm, the speed of the car. And we have two parts. In the first part, we determine that the speed would be double the speed of the bicycle. And then we made some analysis concerning, in the part two, concerning how are the graphs of distance versus time. And in this permutation, they want to tell us that, okay, the car reaches this point, and immediately after that time, immediately after the time, it starts to decelerate. So it was faster, 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 reaches this point, catches up to the bicycle, and started to decelerate. And what's happened here? And basically, let's start with the same thing. Let's grow V, uh, graph V over T. And I draw it before, and this is V0, this is how the graph of the bicycle looks. V0 does not change, so it's a straight line, horizontal, and this all happens up to time t. Simultaneously, and we got it uh, in previous two parts, this is how the speed of the car goes, and it reaches 2V0, and they cover the same distance, that's why at the same point they're at the same place, and that's why this area is V0T, this is the, and this area we can came to this, uh, first of all V0T from the graphical representation, and then of course uh, V equal V0, so we know that without graphic, with a constant speed, distance equals Vt, V and T, and also, so it's the same. Um, and also, the areas that covered uh, under this triangular, uh, we discussed this, it is T multiplied by this, which is 2V0, and divide it in two, two is one, so it's exactly the same area and the same number. Or, if you prefer to use this formula for the car uh, that moves, uh, d equals, this is zero, because v0 is zero, z mul zero multiplied by t, plus a t squared, so you have d equal a t squared, but of course you know, because uh, the car moves with the constant acceleration V equal AT and uh, we already know that at that point of T uh, if this is uh, would be time T T capital so to say that this is exactly this moment then speed would be 2V0 equals AT and uh, we can put t from here, t equals 2v0 over a, and we can plug this here, and we can receive d equal a2, and instead of t we put 2v0 over a squared, and this becomes 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, v squared uh, and uh, this would be 1a, because a squared would be in the denominator and 1a would be gone. So distance would be 2v0 squared over a, and 
and here is the trig distance is 2v0 squared over a. But we know that uh, t is actually 2v0 over a. So we can say that, and now we have to compare those two. We obtain d, and now we can look at this with say v0 and t is this. 2v0 over a. a. And so we see that those two are exactly the same. Uh, everything matches. It's very nice. But now, the next case is that the bicycle continue its movement forever. And the car starts decelerate because the car starts decelerating and it starts with the same speed 2v0 that it's attained at this point only it starts now to slow down the graph would be like this and this tangent would be exactly the same like this it's the same angle the only point is that it would be negative so this is a negative tangent, negative incline but it would be the same A. Tangent A is the same A, only A is going this way. And of course the formula, the formula would be that it has uh, 2v0 and then it would be minus A T minus T. Right? Because we know if T equal T this is disappearing and this is 2v0 and we know that this is how acceleration formula works and basically if we open the brackets we will have v equal 2v0 minus at plus at right and basically that means we know that at is 2v0, so we have uh, v equal 4v0 minus at. And that's exactly the case. This is the graph of this line. This line, if we continue it here, it will cross at 4v0. We're not continuing, it's not describing the motion, but if this formula would be applied, this v would be where this line would cross the vertical axis v and this would be inclined so this would be how v would be changing in any case just looking on the formula or looking on this graph we can tell that at the moment 2t at the moment 2t the car the car will reach a total stop so the car will go here, will continue going here, it will be gaining distance, but it will stop somewhere here. And what we can tell from this graph is that the car will be moving faster than the bicycle. But at that point, at that point, remember this was t half, and this would be 1.5t in the middle between this and this. Uh, the speeds would be the same, velocities of both objects would be the same, and now the bicycle will be, uh, it still will be behind the car, but it will be moving faster than the car, and the car will be moving slower, slower, then here it will stop eventually, and this is the moment when the bicycle will catch up, and we can tell that this area under this triangle, rectangular, this area for the car, rectangular would be the same like an area for this triangular for the car that first goes with acceleration that way that way and then it goes with acceleration this way and so that's basically what they wanted in this problem for us to build this graph and that would be last problem uh, last installation it will be the next one you will be able to see it uh, soon Specifically, if you click subscribe, bell, like, and ask any questions, and bring your comments, and bring your own problems. 
Thank you very much for visiting.